first two guests are very familiar, two of our favorite people in the whole world, and now they are starring together in a charming new holiday film from a timeless Christmas premiering this Sunday night right here on Hallmark Channel. Please welcome back Aaron Cahill and Ryan Pavey. Welcome, oh, guys. Back, guys. Thanks for being Hello. here. Uh, great to oh, see so you. So happy to be here. Ryan obviously hanging out with us in person. Yeah. Aaron is up there in Canada, and we're going to talk all about this great movie. But Aaron, before we do, we know you're working on something else for um, Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. It's going to be airing in 2021. What can you tell us? Tease it a little bit. I'm not allowed to say anything except for it is uh, everybody's favorite mystery series, Mystery 101. I'm doing one of their movies, one ah. of their episodes. And I can't wait for you guys to find out what part. It's so delicious. Oh, my oh, gosh. And this is just a great chance for me to say Jill Wagner and Chris Palaha. Oh. Yeah. Amazing. Way to right. They're just awesome. They yeah, really we are. love them. I love that you're going to be part of the series as well. We call him Christopher Palahahaha because he makes us <laughs> laugh all the time. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't call himself True. that. But he <laughs> likes that yeah, I call yeah, him yeah. that. He's like, I like that nickname. Oh, we're really excited yeah. to see that. We can't wait for that. Now, let's talk about a timeless Christmas. Yeah. Now, although the two of you cannot be together today, nothing can keep you apart, not even being born a century apart. This is a really interesting plot line. Tell us about it, Ryan. Not even time. <laughs> um, so I play Charles Whitley, uh, a bit of a self-made man, inventor, tinker. In 1903, um, I'm engaged to be married in kind of a matter of circumstance, not really love. Um, and I've bought her a gift that somehow or another causes me to wake up 100 years in the future in my home. And one of the first faces I'm greeted by is uh, the lovely Aaron Cahill, who's uh, an employee of the museum my home has become and kind of becomes my ambassador oh. to living in the future now that I'm kind of stuck there. Such I, a I cool, love the concept. I love man. the this story. This is really line. cool. The storyline is really are, are getting so. And in fact, this film is based on Hallmark Publishing's novel uh, of the same name. Uh, and you guys have to really kind of get through different mysteries, of course, in order to kind of uh, accomplish your goal. Tell us a little bit more about it, Aaron. Yeah, it's really fun because we have to. There are some elements from the past that we have to find in the future to get Ryan back to the past where he thinks he belongs, even though clearly he belongs in the present with clearly. me. <laughs> right, clearly. Because <laughs> if he goes clearly. to the past, if he goes back to the past, he loses you unless That's you're true. able to go back. Whether he likes past. it or not. Literally never a good idea. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I don't know. Maybe I don't. That's just Ryan's. Just speaking. in life. <laughs> That's just in general. <laughs> Ooh, the past <laughs> is the past. Go into the future. Well, it's a very cute movie. And we have a clip where um, Charles is making his first appearance to um, present day in Whitley Mansion and sort of gives them a bit of a, a surprise, to say the least. This is your house. I mean, it is. It is. You should be there. Take a look. <laughs> <laughs> These are some very special visitors who've come to see the mansion at Christmas time. They're hoping to catch a glimpse of Mr. Whitley himself. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid my fiance is unable to be here today. He was called away on business. No, he wasn't. He's standing right there. Excuse me. What are you people doing in my house? Um, um... I would appreciate an answer, please. <laughs> well, hello. Mr. Whitley, <laughs> uh, we didn't expect you today. You weren't expecting me in my own home. Who are you? Oh, <laughs> you're having fun with me, sir. You know, I'm your maid, Rosie. You most certainly are not. <laughs> oh, Charles, you're such a tease. You know this is Rosie, just as you know I'm your fiance, Eliza Parker. <laughs> I'll forward my goodness, control yourself. <laughs> Kenny never told me about a new Charles. He looks just like him. <laughs> yes. Wow! We're all trying to figure it out. We're all trying to figure it out. Isn't that cool? Okay, this scene? is fantastic. Go so they're acting out a scene from the past. Yeah. They, my home has been converted, shall we say. They work there. And I show up, having just transform, or transported myself through time, to a bunch of strangers in my house, and I'm super confused. They show up thinking they don't have a Charles Whitley for the day and as an actor like as an actor playing yeah. that part from as back in the day and then I come walking down the stairs and we're, we're all very confused and there's an interest <laughs> that's very... it's really wow. smart I, did you guys see me go yes at the end of that clip because I was hoping they would play it through 
the the giant picture of Ryan. That was one of my favorite things on set. <laughs> I love, did you get to go home with that? Because that's pretty impressive. Uh, no, I did not. I did not go home with that. I would love to have it's that. giant so picture good. of myself. How man. fantastic. Come on. Can you imagine hanging above his mantle? I know. Just in your no. house, just completely casual and reasonable. I can't do but that. <laughs> you guys also have to tell us a little bit about the journal and how important it is that, that, that your character had hidden a journal or a diary mm. in, back in the day and that was gonna help you solve some of these mysteries, right? Yeah, yeah, so, y so yeah. Charles is a, is a bit of a tinkerer and an inventor and that journal contains kind of the bulk of the, the knowledge that he wanted represented and in it might contain some information about how I might retrace my steps and maybe go back. We'll see. Okay. But it's important that we find that because there's information in there. I like that. I like that. Detail. I love it. Now, he, Charles, is a bit of a tinker yes. and an inventor, as are you. I know both of you have some things in common with your characters. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I wouldn't categorize myself as an inventor, but I certainly, <laughs> I mean, I certainly like to tinker. Yeah. Well, you've, you've put together a couple motorcycles. You make some really cool jewelry. Absolutely. You're underselling you, yourself. Come on. I make stuff. I'm, I like to work I'm with I'm wearing my hands. some of the jewelry right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's really cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. I like it. Well, yeah. I have rings for you guys too, by the way, <clears throat> per our discussion oh. X months uh, ago. Um, but yeah, I What I you make guys stuff. should know about, yeah, Ryan Pavey is, is fantastically talented on and off camera, and he makes amazing jewelry. And he gifted my husband and I this and a couple other bracelets, all his idea for our anniversary. Just Aww. was like, I'd love to give you some. I know, he's the best. So what? if you guys get a chance, go check out his jewelry. It's really beautiful. I made you better stuff. That was just what I had while I was in Canada. <laughs> I have better stuff now. <laughs> Listen, That's super cute. You're also a bit of a collector too, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, 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 I kind of am, I kind of am. <laughs> what kind of stuff? Oh man, I got all kinds of stuff, nerdy stuff, bike stuff, uh, medieval stuff. Medieval stuff is kind of a thing in my house. What is that? So explain that. So what, you know, what is it about? Medieval that? stuff exactly, like know. swords? Yeah, like swords and armor and all kinds of weird. Whoa. Yeah, that's my chair. Oh super wow. Super comfortable, obviously. Um, no, I don't know. I just have always kind of felt like I was born in the wrong year. That's for my TV. Hey, cool. There you go. Um, yeah, I just kind of felt like I was born in the wrong uh, in the wrong year, decade, century. I don't know. Pick a, a designation, but I, I kind of laugh all the time that I'm like, what happens if you leave a kid unsupervised for like 36 years and give him a credit card? <laughs> and then for like, 36 years. Show up in their house and you're like, what is that? Is a sword? Why? Isn't that perfect know. for him though? Can't yeah. you just picture Ryan? Like, you know what I mean? Perfect. Like what we know exactly. Like that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> no. at all. You know, what does surprise me perfect. a little bit, Aaron, is that you are also, you and your husband, are a fan of sort of, well, I'll say the medieval times or at least that essence because you guys went on a very cool Fan tour when you were on vacation in Croatia. Tell us about this tour. So I don't know if if any you guys Game of Thrones fans, you'll understand. So they, they were shot all over the world, and we we found out we were going to a friend's wedding in Croatia, and that part of the wedding was to go on the Game of Thrones tour. And I hadn't watched it, so I jumped in something like season five, episode oh three. I was like, <laughs> no problem. So I just did a big game of catch up and then ended up falling madly in love with the series. And we went, you know, a couple months later on the Game of Thrones tour in Croatia. And it was like, yes, oh, <laughs> no, that's the one. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> I'm super jealous. It, wow. Good for you guys. It, you guys, if you get a chance to go, it is so cool. It is just really cool. And you walk, you end up walking around like going, dun, 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 <laughs> You felt you were, so like great. you were living in the show. That's fantastic. Yeah, Croatia's really beautiful. Well, <sighs> in honor of your uh, mutual love for medieval times and, yep. and sort of that era where of, of knights in shining armor and, and lords and regal ladies, we wanted to present you with something that, well, we think that you should definitely hang above yeah, your Yeah, and you're both going to have. Oh. Just, can you get a shot of that? Looking close. Do you see that? Do you see oh that? Oh, my God. Debbie and I worked very hard on these. That's right. Um, I, I actually painted you, Aaron. Yeah, and, and I got you, Cameron Ryan. I think I did a pretty Ryan. good job. I think that's a wonderful, like, I could have shown up in armor, man. Like, yeah. You could have just let me you know. You actually could have, like, I, for real. That could have been a thing. Yeah. You think we're kidding. You both get one of these. We're sending one to you, Aaron. That's you're awesome. both going home with us. It's not a joke. Yeah. Oh, I want yeah. them. I want to see a photo of where you decide to put it in your home for above your decor, the above the fireplace. Sure. It's a great spot. We love you both, guys. Thanks for uh, being here. And this movie <laughs> looks amazing. I promise the movie's going to be better than the painting. Everybody. <laughs>
<laughs> Be sure to tune in for the premiere of A Timeless Christmas this Sunday wow. night at 8, 7 Central, right here on Hallmark Channel. I take a bit of offense to that because I think I did a fine <laughs> job did. on it. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean I was, think she looks fan. That was insane. I think it's great. That's maybe my favorite picture of myself in existence. Yeah. Cool. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You guys are the gorgeous. Best. Love you. Okay, love you we too. love you too.